We're live. Oh, we're live? Oh, man. I couldn't get done with my project. That's okay. We'll do it together. How's that? We'll do it together. I thought I had another... Um, Pliers? Yeah, the, not these ones with the... Oh, Where did I put... I have them in my hand. Ha! <laughs> Don't I have another pair of these? I thought I had another yeah, pair of, over here. Okay, look in the top drawer, that little... Um, Caddy over there, right over there. Yeah, that, let's see. Yeah, there's oh, a bunch yeah. of them in there, so it's just probably. I decided to clean up the mess as I had like three of everything <laughs> sitting here. And I'm like, well, you know, it could go someplace. It doesn't need to be all in here. So, anyway, so let's see if anybody's stopping. Oh, here's a bunch. We got Melissa, Denise, um, Chris K, Chris Kemp, I guess that is. Yeah, I think. Maria Dango, Tehali. Is it Teja or Teja? I don't know. Um, Mary McMahon, oh, Debbie Nicolaitis, Julie Kidd. Oh, wow. The gang's Hello. all here. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everybody, indeed. Well, I don't know if you heard me say this week that I had gotten uh, my first shipment of chain from Korea. Um, you know, I've told you guys a lot of times, and it's still true. The best chain these days comes from Korea, not the United States. I mean, you can still get decent chain that's American-made, don't get me wrong, you can't. But it's not imaginative, in my humble estimation. And it's, um, it's just not as well made either. So, I prefer Korean chain when I can get it. Um, I first found out about Korean chain um, going over to work at the 1928 factory. And uh, Mel said it too. He says, "Oh yeah, the best chains from over there." He says, "But have fun trying to find anybody to sell it to you." <laughs> I found some. <laughs> I found them. Um, actually, the fellow approached me because he found my website and he thought maybe I might be able to buy his chain. So. Um, I got my first shipment because I I wanted to try something really unique I'd never seen before. And I got all these ideas looking at it. So you can see this piece I'm working with here. We don't have too good of light on this situation. Yeah, I don't know what to say. So can you bend the light over a little bit? Last week it was pretty good. I don't know what we did different, but it was pretty good. Oh, that's cool. Okay. All right. So you can see this here. I'll show you the whole uh spool in a minute anyway um when i saw this i immediately thought color this thing's breaking i immediately thought color i immediately thought paint 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 although i probably get a little bit of it plated too um and i thought when i saw it well let me just get the bolt now okay? <laughs> this is the bolt this is only a fraction of the shipment. Um, anyway, if you can see it here, I mean, there's just, it's just incredible. And do you know what? This is handmade. I figured I could learn something from it, and I am learning something from it. Let me tell you what, I'm learning from it a lot about things that you could do yourself. Um, it's just so unusual. So I was thinking paint. There's a piece of it here. I'm discombobulated. <laughs> as usual. <Okay>. We're <laughs> I just got thrown a little bit of a, a curve. Yeah. I just sent Mel my flight number and said, remember I'm coming Tuesday. He says, okay, that's great. I can't wait. He says, uh, do you want me to pick you up at the airport like before or do you just want to go to the hotel? And I'm like, huh? I said, no. I thought it was okay for us to stay at the guest house, so I don't have a hotel reservation. Mm -mm. He hasn't gotten back to me yet. <laughs> I don't know. He might be doing some tap dancing over there. <laughs> uh, but uh, I don't know. Maybe Harvey and I can't go this time. Which should be sad because I gotta get this book done. That's why I'm going over there. But anyway, I'm not gonna worry about it now. I'm with my friends. 
<laughs> so let's see who all else is here. Lori Wooten's here. Oh, did I say it right, Teja? Okay, good. I'm just thinking of Tejas. <laughs> um, anyway, let's see. Kathleen Kelly's here. Pat Counts is here. Trudy Thompson. Melissa and Harpo. Diana Frank. Vicki Coleman. Yeah, you made it here today. So everything's going to be good because Vicki made it here today. Um, Luann's here. Mimi is Luann. Um, let's see, Renee Cochran, C. Lombard. I never did get your first name yet. I just keep thinking Carol Lombard like the actress, but that was a little... Um, so I'm thinking, I'm looking at this chain, and the first thing I saw when I saw it, the samples, is I have this huge box over here of chain samples, and it's only a portion of what their factory makes. Um, so I'm looking at it, and I'm like, what do I want to buy? Well, I thought I would get this because you could paint it, which I've said about five times now already. <laughs> but here's what I was thinking. See these colors on this flower? You know, what, what if I put them on this brass here? I think it would be like so screaming awesome. Um, I, I just... I. I didn't have the colors upstairs. I mean, I had the colors upstairs, not downstairs, to do it yesterday. But I wanted to do it, and I still will. I just, I love these combinations, these hot, you know, vibrant colors like this. But I was thinking that on it. But I don't know, maybe you have something else in mind. I mean, I've got all these great beads here. You know, go with it. Yeah. You know? So anyway, I did manage to get this painted with some ochre type color and a little bit of red and some green because, you know, this color looks good on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks really nice. And it's not everybody that can wear this color, you know. Let me get it on the screen. There we go. You know, not everybody can wear this color. You have to be really special. <laughs> That's what I tell everybody because a lot of people, you know, they're not nuts about this color green. I love it. And I figured this first brace that I'd probably be keeping it anyway. So so now what I have to do is I have to see, I'm, I'm trying to make it, you know, my normal way that I always take it off to the side. And of course I got it too long. So now I'm going to have to chip chop it. But I'm going to go ahead and do that so that we can see how it works out. How much do you have to cut off? Um, uh, probably at least an inch. So, oh, this this bracelet keeps coming loose. <laughs> um, yeah, let's cut it to like th three inches, and then if I have to extend it, I can do it um, with a jump. Because you have to allow, you know, have your lobster in there and everything, too. So I think that would be good. So I'm going to go ahead and I see where to cut it. I need my other cutters, though, because these ones are this one just this not... One? Uh, just give me these for now. Okay. okay, so that was right about here. Oh, Mary said, I love that coat with green. Do you? I'm nuts about it, and it's getting more and more popular, too. But I, I have to say, I went looking for some tops to take on my trip yesterday. Went to the mall. Can you believe it? I went to the mall. The mall. The mall. I haven't been there for well, who goes to the mall? But anyway, you know, I wanted to, I just wanted to see things and try it on, so I went, because I'm a little bit of a hard fit since I gained some weight. <laughs> hope you, I hope you guys can hear me, because I'm kind of talking yeah. low. Um, so, hey, Deborah Bolduc. Hey, Sarah. It's good to see you. Oh, wow. This is your first one. Well, let's Woo! make it lively. <laughs> let's, let's make it lively and celebrate Sarah came. Yay. Sarah's here, yay. I'm happy. Yeah, she's, Javi says she's happy. <laughs> That's good. So anyway, I go in there, and I'm telling you what, they, everything was on sale, which was cool with me, but oh, sweet. it was ugly. Oh, really? U-G-L-Y, ugly. Big, splashy prints and colors Ooh. that are Absolutely. just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, not, you know, I wanted to find something in my colors that I like to wear, besides black, which I do wear <laughs> a lot of black. <laughs> But anywho, um, I I left them all without buying a single thing. Oh man! Have you ever done that? 
Isn't it discouraging? That's why people like to buy online. Don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. Because, okay, you can get disappointed. It could come and it doesn't fit you. Yeah. Or, you know, the fits are all different or whatever. You know, I mean, I've been disappointed that way too plenty of times. But, you know, just... Perfect time to begin. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now this one is a little bit strange because that last link is screwing it up. Can you see that? Oh. It won't quite go. So I'm going to have to take this long link off. Of course, that would have made it easier to put together, wouldn't it? <laughs> Nothing's easy. <laughs> Get your head around that and you'll be fine. <laughs> That's true. Let's see. Oh, there's Javi. Hey, there's Karen. Maud's here. Carrie's here. Um, watch Fob Style Chain for a bunch. Hmm. Yeah. Why not? It's, um, I'll tell you the dimensions on it. It's, uh, it's about five eighths of an inch wide. So it's, it's wider, you know, chain. It's wider chain, but. Anywho, now look at this. Oh, do I have a dilemma. This has got this, okay, I don't. It has this little link in this chain, this brass ox chain, where it's like a sister link and it just links around, twists over itself. Oh. And if you cut that, of course you lose the link, you're not gonna be able to use any of it. And I thought I needed to, but I found out that I don't have to worry, I'm not gonna be cutting into it. All right. So anyway, so now I'm going to put it together and we'll finish seeing, you know, what it looks like. And then I thought, you know, like some of these beads could dangle from here. But as soon as I get this together, what I really want to show you is how cool this chain could be if you think of it as earrings. Ooh. Earrings, guys. So this would be, some, yeah, be something different for you. I'm just, this chain is a good chain because... Even though it's different and funky, all the parts of it, you can just go so many ways. Like, I've already got a bracelet out of it, but I have a, a good bit left. I could see you using the knot as a connector. Yes. You know. Yeah, you can use it. In fact, I'm going to show you. I tore, I tore um, about a foot of chain down to show you how many pieces were in it. And you're going to oh. be amazed. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that would be interesting. I, I just tore it down so that they could see what was going on. So now I need a brass ox jump, and there's, yeah, I'll probably find one in here. Okay, so I found, small. yeah, I got, yeah, I need a little bit small, <laughs> little, just Sorry. a little bit. That's okay. I'll just use this one, it'll work. So anyway, but I just thought it was so cool. And how much Korean chain I get, again, I don't know. Here's the problem. I didn't have to pay any duty. But we have our own DHL account. We had them ship on it. And um, I have to wait and find out how much it cost. Because his quotes to me were kind of ridiculous. And then he said, you know, if you have your own account, you can do better. Well, the last, like when I bought those wedding, wedding cake beads from India a few weeks ago, I mean, it was 15 kilos or something, and it was only... Um, 60 bucks and he was telling me like 130 so I have to wait and see if it's going to be like that then uh, I'm going to have to figure something else out but I will okay I've just about got this done I put that on upside down oh well I'll, I'll fix that later okay so now I've got my thing over here so now let's see if I can get it on by myself if not Javi will help me <laughs> Javi will help me you know, it's a good thing, like, if if you make chains and sections like this to put your, um, so you can look, this place is still way too long. <laughs> oh. It's, you know, it's good to maybe, you know, if you do chains and sections like this, and you're going to break it up, it'd be good to have all your measurements in front of you, and then probably what you're going to have to do is shorten it a little bit, because it's always my experience that it ends up too long for some reason. So, but better, lo better too long than too short, short, right? Let's see how long did I make this. Just eyeballing it. 
Usually, which that's a, a mistake. <laughs> okay. Well, sometimes eyeballing is a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, here's where the problem is. With the link center piece or motif, and then these pieces I put back here, I've got seven inches already, plus how this comes out to catch it at the end. And then I've got another, so I've probably got another three quarter inches on there. And that's what's making it loose. But I can fix it. I'm just not, I'm just not gonna do it now because I have other fish to fry, but don't you think, oh, let me just dump a few of these out. These are our new beads. Have you seen them? I don't know if Lauren showed them to you or not. We have others too. They were restocked because we had them before. We have a lot of the little bell flowers now that have come in. But look, look at this. What if I like put this on a head pin and maybe this and maybe this on a head pin? You know what? I got some head pins here. Let's just put them on head pins. Just kind of dream about it a little bit. Dream it out. <laughs> Oh, Sarah likes my, my uh, chain and, and the flower, too. You know when I made that, Sarah? I made it at the um, retreat or the workshop. And I never did anything with it. I'm sorry you had trouble signing in, Beverly, but you're here now and nobody's ever late. You know, that's, that nobody is ever late here. You ever do this? Ever When you're trying to see how it's going to look, do you ever put them on jump rings first and hold them up? to see what's going on. Sometimes, you know, it, yeah, sometimes I just place the beads there. Yeah. Just see if it looks good. <laughs> and that's big hole beads, so that's not going to work. Because these are kind of smutty. Oh, smutty they go and, fit right through it. <laughs> yeah, you, that's why you got to test stuff out and see, you know. Or, no, you that know what? I idea. said I was going to do this, didn't I? I said I was going to use these beads. You know, this bead, uh, a, this strand of beads is like seven ninety five at the website. It's a little bit more expensive, but they're such a wonderful focal bead, and they sell well. So I said this weekend, um, if you put an order in for, I think, 60 bucks, yep. you could get it for free. Well, that's great, but I guess everybody is um, not into it this week. I don't know. So, but they're still there if you want them. I got other stuff to talk to you about anyway. Maybe you'll like it better, so we won't worry <laughs> about that. But I'm just saying, if you were thinking you wanted to do that, take advantage of that deal. Yeah. You can, because I have plenty left. Maybe you thought, oh, why bother? She'll be out of them. I'm not. Okay, let me just wrap these up real quick and see what happens. Let's see what everybody's saying. Let's see, I love those bell flowers. So cool and relatively quick. It is. It's very quick to put together. In fact, if I was not doing it with you guys looking on and making mistakes here because I'm... Need yeah, I need those. <laughs> um, I had it done a long time ago. <laughs> but that's not your fault. That's my fault for not being better prepared. <laughs> it's just a lot today. A lot, yeah. a lot happening because I'm thinking we're going over there. Trying to get everything wrapped up. I have to write two newsletters and schedule them and do all kinds of other stuff. Make the goodie bags for next week. And I told myself, if you aren't done doing what you got to do by 7 o'clock tomorrow night, then it ain't getting done. I got to go to bed because we have to get up really early. We have to leave here about 3.30 in the morning. Wow. So, Harvey, you got to do the same thing. you got to go wow. to bed early. Because you're going to be zonked anyway. Because remember, we're going to California, so we're losing three hours. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll be falling asleep in the tent. Well, that's fine. That's what, that's what a lot of people do. I have to work. I've got to work on my book on the plane because we're wanting to get done. So I've got, but I'm, I'm made, I've made remarkable pro progress on that book in the last few weeks. And the light is at the end of the tunnel, let me tell you. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. So it'll be coming before the end of the year. I had hoped the end of October. I don't think that's going to happen. But by the end of the year, yeah. 
just in time for you to spend your gift money <laughs> <laughs> and get one. Yeah. So, anyway, let's see what everybody's saying. Ronaldo's here. JC Higgins. Are you new? Welcome. We're so glad you came. Um, did you say what you use for paint? Yes, I'm going to tell you. I used vintage uh, paints. And I, I'll show you which ones I used. I, where is that thing? Here it is. Okay, this is why I keep my little portable paints. I use this one, which is sunflower. And I use this one, which is deep turquoise. And what other colors? And I think there's some corally orange. Yeah, I did this one. This one. These three. Now, actually, here's a curious thing. Um, this one is vintage patina. Oh, let me get in. <laughs> I'm just no good at this. Okay. okay. This one's vintage. Okay. This one is Wendy Vecchi. Hmm. And so is this one. It's all the same product. They get um, different artists or companies in there and they license it. It's for the use of their name. The, the company licensed the use of their name for branding purposes. And they'll take the same product and it's like, all over stuff, all kind of other stuff. And so that's why I don't know, like if you have a place where you buy um, this color, the deep turquoise, if you're gonna be able to find these two, because I think this company's going out of business and I think I bought them from my supplier um, like half off or something. Oh. And I don't think I can get any more either. Sad, sadness, but this is the, this is the, combination so get a good look at that turn around so you can see it and maybe you can kind of burn it into your brain how about that just get something close to it <laughs> yeah yeah well we all do that you know exactly. and you know you get something close to it and it'll be better than mine anyway so there you go <laughs> yours will be better than mine so anyway I hate packing for a trip, Carrie says, yeah, and you know what, I am not a good packer. I always take way too much stuff, that sounds and I'm always <laughs> worrying that, you know, did I have this, did I get that, and, you know, it takes forever, and I don't start, you know, planning ahead, you know, soon enough a lot of times. This time I've been really working hard on too many things all at the same time. And it's worrisome around here, too. It's always worrisome in the summer. So um, I've been under a lot of stress, sad to say. And then, so that makes me even worse at that kind of thing. Like right now, I can't find this end that's sticking up. And I know it's there because I felt it. Where are you? I'm going to get you. <laughs> there it is. I've got to be able to see it to get rid of it, though. There it is. Pack light, uh, lightweight clothing. Oh, for That's sure. Yeah. Well, yeah, you need to do that, Javi. It's hot out there. Oh, yeah. I was just going to bring jeans. Yeah. Light, yeah. Light, yeah. You need to wear light shirts. You need, yeah, that's good. That's good for the factory. And also, you need a pair of closed toe shoes like your. Oh, yeah. You have I a little skip shoes. Good. <laughs> yeah, because um, you own the factory. You don't want sandals. I mean, he lets me get away with it, but I really shouldn't <laughs> be doing that. Okay, so if I put these here, how's this going to look? Awesome. Awesome. I could do it on all the links even. Right? Be, hey, Jan. So that's my thought with this chain. And here's another thought. Because <laughs> I'm going to have to fix this later, which well, I will. <laughs> I'm just going to put it there so you can keep looking at it. All right. So I, I, um, I thought I would just do this one with the... Uh, gold chain, you know, the, it's not gold, it's raw brass. So, I want you to see what cool earrings there are figured in here. It's amazing what you could do. Here's where I would cut it. I got, here, let me hold it this way. I've got a loop or circle it. I got a couple of oblong um, jumps, which I need to get some of them. I got some of these bars right here that I want to take advantage of. Another connector and these two loops. So what do I want to do? Well, what I want to do, 
I don't want to cut through this circlet and lose it. These are, by the way, these circlets are soldered. That's a really nice thing. Um, At least, I think the links are not soldered. Though. No, the links aren't. I mean, they're really tight, so you kind of have to look for it, you know, but um, the links aren't soldered, but the circlets are. Come on, where are you? Here it is. It's always tough as I am with. Well, I'm shaky today anyway. It's just not been a real good day. Now I'm kind of worried about there he is. what we're going to do. Yeah. Why worry about anything? You can't do anything about it. Yeah. can't do anything about it. Okay, so... <laughs> when it came apart, I lost track of my idea. Okay, I want to go up in here. There, and I didn't want to lose. Hmm. Where's the other link at? I wanted this on the end. Sorry. Okay, so I'm going up this way. Okay. Yeah, I want to keep my I want to keep my links. I'm going to take it apart here. Like watching paint dry, isn't it, for me to figure this out? How many thumbs down do you think I'll have on this one? <laughs> you already have nine thumbs up. <laughs> well, that's nice. I love to see thumbs up. <laughs> People will probably... Oh, actually, it's 11. I'm not going to like this because I didn't have it figured out good. You know, whenever you want to show somebody in a video, you need to have it worked out. But I just, I, I have to take the time and show you guys this because it's just so cool. Okay. So I wanted to have. Oh, Carrie said, "I appreciate all your videos." Thank you, honey. That's so nice of you. Okay, I lost my thought. Anyway, you could do earrings like this too. Oh, mm -hmm. let's just do one. Since I lost my original thought, anyway, let's just do one. Let's do. This will have two circles, so. It would cost you more to make because, you know, of the um, length of it. This chain is a little bit spendy, I hate to say. It's $8.95 a foot. But when you see how many pieces are in it, you'll say, oh, wow, you know, I think I can go somewhere with that. That's the way I'm looking at it. Okay, so here I've got this, and I've got two, I've got two circles. I have to work at making another one because I tore it up too much. Maybe I'll pull it off the spool. Okay, so here I've got the top part, which will go, um, this will be the place where I will hang the earring. Your wire? Yeah. You want to give me one of those? Hubby? Yeah. Yeah, so now I'll have my orientation. Oh, you know what? See the way that's hanging? Yeah. Wrong. It would just go through oh. there. It would just go through there. It wouldn't be Do you like to discover these things I when you get work? I mean, nice. sometimes it's frustrating if you're in a hurry, but... Um, I hate the one to do with earrings because when you're like, oh, man, I just put it that other way. <laughs> yeah. Or I just put another chain, uh, a jump ring, but then it just doesn't look right. <laughs> well, now here's another little revelation. Lovely, lovely, lovely. This may not have enough space for this. Let's just try it. I'll crimp it and see what happens. We have these kind of earrings. I think they're kind of elegant and they're not real expensive. Yeah. I like so we use them. And we have those and we have the lever backs. Okay. Nope. That won't work. I don't think it will. I think you should just put another jump in there. But. I'm probably going to have to, but then it's going to hang so long. Or just take that piece out and then put a jump yeah, in Yeah, you know what? Javi's right. I'm going to just take this out and use it on something else. There's so much experimenting you can do with this chain. And I, I just, it, like I say, it just showed up Friday. And I just, I wanted to share it with you so bad. Yeah, this is going to be the way to go. 
Somebody said it's like figuring out a puzzle. <laughs> yes, it is. Jewelry making is a lot like that. Who said that? <laughs> so I can tell them you're my friend and buddy. <laughs> it's uh, right there. <laughs> and she can't. She can't tell. Okay. Okay. This is. You know what? This is me. Cool. It gives me another opportunity for stuff. Hanging on this. All right. I got it. This is the way you want to go. So I'm going to show it to you nice and slow. Maybe you can get a screenshot or something. <laughs> if you get this chain and you want to do this, this is the way you want it to go. I got it all figured out for you now. You're going to want two circlets, one bar, four of these jumps, and then one for up here. So five jumps, one bar, two circlets. Okay, so that's kind of cool even on its own. Kind yeah. of um, industrial looking, you know? Yes. That's what I like. Ooh, I like stuff be, like that. That'd be like a, and then you can do like a little necklace place with three of those and have stuff hanging down. Right. Hey, Judy Lynn, so glad you came. It's a very attractive chain. You better believe it. <laughs> you better believe it. When you see how many parts are in this chain, you're just not going to believe it either. Okay, so now I want to hang these little things here, but I need like some little golden. Where's my. I had a little. Oh, no, that's not it. Oh, gee, this is going to be one of them days. <sighs> you need something? Yeah, here it is. I put it out of the way. Oh, it's over here. Good. I need two little kind of golden jump rings so that I can... Oh, no, I need three so that I can put these on. If I don't find them, I will just go with some brass ox and we will just wing it. Why not? We'll wing it because I'm going to have to fix this up anyway. I'm just doing this to show you, you know, how it goes. So if you win the drawing today, you're probably not going to get a pair of earrings. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want one. Because <laughs> after this, I'm probably not going to have time to finish them today, rats. So what are they going to get instead? Oh, they're going to get all kinds of goodies. <laughs> Never fear that. Never fear. I got, all, go. I got all kinds of stuff for you. Always got nice stuff for you. Come on, these were a little tough. And I can't see. Okay, so these will not be closed like I normally do them because I can't see and I don't want to waste a lot more time. So I got one on. And I'll put the other in the middle. But anyway, on that green, I know what I can give you. I can give you the rest of this green chain. And you can work out making earrings and then you can show me what I missed out on. I mean, I won't just, just give you this, but I can give you some of that. Uh, somebody said, can you use the jump rings on the upper right from the chain? Upper right from the chain. I, I'm not Getting sure. These? Oh, yes, you can. Yeah, the only thing is you have to have the right, um, you got to have the right use for them because they're kind of, they're kind of big, like, they're, like they're, really, they're definitely what you want for this. You don't want a standard jump ring for this kind of chain. But, um, because you need the room, you need, it, you need the jump to work for you kind of as a connector. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, you can take, um, you know, you're going to get to see them in just about two shakes here when I finish this, okay? Melissa says, the green is so 60s. I love it. I know, <laughs> it is. You know what it is? Hey, Melissa, remember avocado green? Late, oh, late 60s, early 70s? And what was the color that went with it? Who knows? With avocado green, what was the accompanying color that was like uh, really hot and all the rage for, um, I would say, more beginning of the 70s? Anybody know? Orange. I remember. They're saying orange. No, it was Harvest Gold. Remember Harvest Gold? You oh, yeah, somebody got Harvest Gold. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, somebody got it. Yay. Um, yeah, because I got married in 75, and, like, all my gifts were those colors. And it was on the way out then. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, here you go. <laughs> so, okay, now do you see how cool this is? Let me lay it yeah. out. This is the point. See how cool this is? It's a long earring. If you experiment with it, you might be able to stop it earlier or start here maybe take this off put another jump through and start that's what i'm going to do next time but you got these cool little dangles at the bottom that i made they're all check 
and then I've got my ear wire at the top. So here's the thing. If I was to go on with this now, I would say you're not quite done yet because I would try to put a little, like, um, here, let me put it on a jump on a bead cap and you'll see. Come here, you. Okay. But somebody said, how long is the amount of chain you're using for the earrings? Oh, good, good idea. Oh, don't include that. Yeah, I only have to talk a little it's bit. like two and an eighth. And why do I say that? Because there's another jump up here. So you might not see it. Okay, so I would take these and like string them going up. Get my point. <laughs> I'll do like going up. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. I never even thought about that. <laughs> I'm just nuts about these colors ever since I started using them a lot. And then I would do maybe one, I don't know, it might be too big, so we'll have to see. That's nice. In the middle. Here. And then maybe something up here hanging from there. What do you guys think? You like that configuration? Hmm. Well, Carrie likes it. <laughs> um, Renee likes it. Nina likes it. Yes, I know you do, Susan. I've seen a lot of your circles that you've, the things you've done with stuff you got from us look good. Let's see. Yes, Harvest Gold is. Mary McManus, this is cool. Speaking of less, this is Woodstock's 50th anniversary. Huh. What's Woodstock? What's, you, did you hear that? <laughs> did you I'm hear, Google did that. you hear what she just said? <laughs> What's Woodstock? <laughs> Oh my, what a child, what a child. Woodstock was a... Oh, it's a music festival. It was a music festival. It's like one of the first cool. big music festivals that was outside. Oh, yeah. And if you go, like, Google it. Yeah. It rained. I mean. And all, like, I don't know, half a million people, a million people, I don't know, ridiculous amount of people came because they had every big musical act there, out there. Out there and they all, people came from far and wide. They had... Jimi Hendrix was there, Carlos Santana, Joan Baez. I don't know, you guys keep naming them. But anyway, <laughs> it was goobers of people performing, and goobers of people came, and it rained. And the whole place turned into a sea of mud. Oh. And there wasn't enough food, and some of these people had nowhere to go to get out of the mess, and so they rejoiced in the mess and rolled in the mud. <laughs> and it did not look like a good time to me, to be honest. Any of you guys at Woodstock? Were any of you guys at Woodstock? My husband was on his way to go. And then for some reason he turned around and didn't. Probably a good idea. Good old John was going to go to Woodstock. Oh, my word. Anyway. The Who was there. Janis Joplin was there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, they had to close the New York State Thruway. Ten years after was there. Keep going. Deborah Boldick says, Javi. <laughs> You had to be there to know about Woodstock. It's pretty historic. She said, "Yeah, well, our my family was in Chile. I don't know anything about it. I got nobody here. Yeah, my family's in Chile. I didn't know anything. My mom arrived in the what, in the nineties. Yeah, she's young too. But I bet she knows about Woodstock. That's a good and she point. was in, I probably she was in Chile. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate to you how many bits and parts. Melissa said I wanted to go. My mom wouldn't let me. Your mother was very smart, very wise woman, Melissa. <laughs> you know your parents could take it. <laughs> yeah, you, you might never made it out alive. I don't know. I, actually, they said everybody was really good and cooperative. Oh, okay, good. I want to show you what you get in about a foot, maybe just a quarter of an inch longer of this chain. I want to show you all the loot you get. If you, I broke down about, about a foot of this chain so that you can see all the stuff and all the possibilities that you get in a foot of this chain. So you get, um, this is eight circlets, it'll be seven to eight circlets, okay, depending on, you know, when they cut the chain, how it's configured and how it rolls out. Um, then there are oh, wow. all these little hook things. These are nice connector too. And they're, um, they're not soldered, it doesn't look, but, no, but they're, they're but they're 
Well, this looks like it's soldered. <laughs> they so make maybe it so firm. maybe they are. Yeah, you can see the line. Oh no, they're soldered. Really, you just broke one just a moment well, ago. Well, I busted through it. Maybe I don't know. Huh. You know, let's try it. I don't want to say something that's untrue. I think they just. Lori said she was well. only eight, so she missed it. Good girl. <laughs> I was only about thirteen, so yeah. It, you know what? Javi's right. This is not soldered, but it's put together so tight, which is a it's, yeah. it's a it's a mark of quality. Yes. So that's that's a good thing. Diana said she was fifteen. I would not have liked it. Apparently, there were not enough bathrooms to use another one. Ooh. I totally would not have liked it. Oh no! <laughs> I would have been standing there crying. <laughs> Come and get me! I'll go in the woods. <laughs> She'd go in the woods. Well, you had to go. You know, the yeah. woods wasn't no, right you there, go. you know, and everybody was going in the woods, so that wasn't good either. Maybe, no, maybe. maybe that's why they call it Woodstock, huh? <laughs> so you get you get all these connectors, and last but not least, you get all these jump rings. So now you can get a really good Whoa. close look at what these jump rings look like. Oh, now, jump rings like this are not cheap. I'm going to count them. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, well, let me do it on camera. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty, thirty-two. Basically thirty, thirty-two of these jumps, okay? Right there. Wow. Because they're unusual, probably some sites sell them in twenty-fives. They're probably like uh Three ninety-five, four ninety-five, just for the jumps. No kid, because they're heavyweight, they're plated, and they're hard to find. Except I know where to find some. So they're plated. Yeah, they're plated. Oh no, wait, no, I'm it's lying. No, they're not plated. <laughs> Thank you, Javi, because I would hate to tell you something wasn't true. No, this is raw brass, but you know you can torch it too. You could torch it, you can paint yeah. it, you could patina with swell again. Ooh. Here's another thing that would work really good. Here's another thing that would work really good is if you used swell again dioxides. Ooh. Because you'd get some really even color with that. And it would be so rich. And how you do that is you take the dioxide and you squirt it into a very sturdy baggie. Like Something at least the weight of a Ziploc with a really sturdy lock. So you heard that lock. Really sturdy. And you, what, what you want to do is put, uh, you know, some swelling in the bottom of that, the dioxide. You have to eyeball it. Um, and then you take and put your chain in there. Chain, chain, chain. And then you take it and just smush it all up into the dioxide. And then the dioxide will run this way and that way. And all you just... Flip it around and mess with it. Want to wear gloves? Because even though you're working through a Ziploc, it could get messy and it will die you. Also, and then you'll have to get it off here. So, but you could put it in there and then you could take it out and let it dry. You could run heat over it if you want. Um, and then you'd have a wonderful, beautiful base color. And then if you wanted to get some other color into it, you could like sponge paint a little bit on, or not, just leave it that color and go for it. So that would be a great way to do it, and it'd be probably pretty fast. Because when you do that, some have said it's kind of hard to get the dioxides to take, but not really. Christy showed me this, Christy Friesen. She showed me how to do that. You know, this is a new trick, Brendan. Look at this. You know, put it in a bag with the, with the swell again, mush it all around until you get it on nice and even, and then extract the chain and hang it on something vertically to let it dry and it won't take that long to dry either but this is what you get all this stuff in one foot of chain how about that your jump rings are very good you know what everybody says that and you know what they're from korea too everybody says that my jump rings are great there i wish i could get them for you cheaper but here's what i'm doing i'm searching because i get them from a distributor here and I don't want to pay his markup I want to find stuff cheaper I want to find stuff cheaper and cheaper for you guys and still be really good stuff I, I'm not going to bring stuff in just because it's cheap nope 
I bring it in because it's wonderful and the price just happens to be great too. So there you go. So that's pretty much what I had to show you. We don't have um, a lot of shipments coming in right now. It's the end of the summer. I'm catching up my summertime bills. It always gets slow in summer, so I have to do that. But I'm already planning out what I'm going to have. I do have another chain shipment coming. And, oh, it's going to be, they're making it for me, so it's going to be four or five weeks, I imagine. But it's, it's um, Millie Fiore beads Ooh. that are hand-wrapped. Now, they're the Chinese Millie Fiore beads, but they're good ones. If I had checked Millie Fiore beads on there, you would not like the price, let me tell you. But these are nice, and they're all hand-wrapped so nice and even, too. I'm just so, I can't wait till they come. They're going to be great. And then, of course, you know, I'm hopefully going to see Mel. We'll have to wait and see what he says, but... Um, I'm not, I'm not anticipating bringing a lot of stuff back this time. Um, I'm not going to probably, going forward, have as much of the vintage stuff from over there. We'll see. You really kind of, I don't know. If he finds it and shows me, then I'll get it. But I want to kind of concentrate on other things that will be useful for you and not so random, but still compelling. Mm -hmm. So um, I, what, I, what I am doing, though, I'm going to be looking for beads for the bead mixes so yeah I love going over there it's one of my favorite places in the world okay I got them all put away I'll tell you what whoever wins today gets this too woohoo you're gonna get yeah. this and, yeah, the chicken okay. squeaking. <laughs> you're going to get this, and I'm going to put this way, and you're going to, you can't get this because they're mine. <laughs> <laughs> Although I've been known to give my stuff away plenty of times, but um, then, this time I'm going to keep them. I'll see if I can get some more. How's that? And um, you're going to get that. I'll keep finding these. <laughs> okay, that one's kind of contorted. So you're going to get that. And you're going to get these. Maybe I'll throw a few beads in there because they're kind of special. And uh, other good stuff, too. And I'll tell you what. Uh, Luann says she's been having bad storms every day this week. Power was out and came on just to start. Oh, I hate that. Don't you hate that? Especially if you're online and you're trying to work. Ugh. So, anyway. Um, oh, Mucky. My cousin went, but wanted, and that's not how you say it either. You've told me, Mucky, Mucky, did I get it? It's kind of like a German umlaut. <laughs> that's the way I heard it. Okay, so my cousin went, but I wanted to, but my mom dragged me off to Sweden for the summer as usual. I just turned seven. It's good that she took you to Sweden. It's a fine thing that she took you to Sweden. That would have been nice. <laughs> yeah, I think that would have been a whole lot better than rolling around in the mud with a bunch of strangers. <laughs> Anyway, so, let's see where we are for time. Well, we're just getting cooking here. Okay, here's what's going to happen today. First of all, I want to make sure that I've got everybody that's talking before I tell you all this stuff. Um, that's what I had to show you was the chain today. And, do you, and I didn't have a video on Friday. I just couldn't do it. Not in everything else. So, I couldn't do it. Um, anybody have any comments? Anybody make any new memory wire bracelets and put them on the group or anything? I'll tell you what I did. I made this bead mix here. Let me show it to you. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it yet. Maybe I'll give the winner of today some of this. How about that? It's got some really nifty. Did you see these? Did you see these? These are noodles that are textured. I wanted to see them, so I didn't get very many. So the only way I can share any is in this mix. And this mix is a little bit... I don't think I can give it away because it's full of gemstone chips. I wish I could. I know you guys are going to want it. But these, these noodles are awesome. 
Yeah, you know, totally, totally awesome. So that's a good mix. There's so many possibilities in this mix, too. Let's look at the possibilities. Somebody said, are the noodles hollow? Yes. <laughs> they surely are. They're hollow, so they'll go on... Um, the wire. Yeah, here's a piece of wire. Let me show you. Ah, I can show you. So next week, we're going to have this. Javi and I will be just coming home the night before. She already declared, you know, I'm not coming to work in the morning. <laughs> okay, just come for the live and we're good. And I'll have to think of something to talk about besides stammering around like I am today. But anyway, <laughs> look at that. Ooh, Pretty. Nice. Now, it seems to be a little wider than our standard noodle, so I have to wonder if we're going to be able to do the beads over it. You know, like how I like to put the beads over? So let's see. No, that won't go. Is this hole wider on this one? Oh, you mean over it? Yeah, I like them. Oh. I, no, huh? You have so you're not going to have that luxury. You're not going to be able to put the moving beads on this one if you use these noodles. But I want to get some more, and then I want to have them plated. Probably just our standard silver and um, brass locks. I don't know, it depends if there's steel underneath. Because you can't plate brass locks on something that's got a steel base. It'll depend. Maybe I'll do them silver and gold or something. Or maybe I'll just do them silver and leave it like this because that's pretty nice looking gold. All you'd do to keep that color would be just hit it with a little Krylon and that would preserve the color. So that would be like good. sold. I want the whole bowl. She wants the whole bowl. <laughs> well, you wouldn't want to pay that. <laughs> Because I have a ton of money in this bowl. Because it's all gemstone chips and stuff. Oh, uh, somebody and said, will Chef you be getting the washers bead back in? Yes, I will be getting them. I'll be getting them. It might be just a Ooh. little, might be a little bit until I can get them. What is this bead mix called, somebody said? I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I just made it. It was going to be for me till I got tired of it. And then I thought I'd sell the rest because I, I need to make some money. <laughs> but um, I probably shouldn't have showed it to you because now I can't get you can't buy it well all right let's do this let me get up here and see if I can find a little bag so I can see something interesting see like here's an earring put stuff around it what are those beads called anyway? This is just Cheerio beads. Oh, this Cheerio? one's this one's <laughs> glass. <laughs> and I you know the only thing I could do was throw them down in here because they're so expensive they're check. It's hard to find glass wheel beads that are not stupid price. Okay, let me check something here. Check. I have to check the check. Check the check. Okay, I'm right back. Okay, so I want to see how much this is. See if I can do it. Oops. If you saw the way we have this rigged, you'd die. <laughs> okay, so, so, so let's say I did one of these bags and it was full of this and it had a noodle in it so you could try it. It's not bad. <laughs> so say I gave you this much. There's enough in there to do something. Let the bidding begin. There's enough in here to do something. So you would get that. If I do this. You get that. And you get a little piece of this chain. Enough that maybe you could make a pair of earrings. How would that be? So to, enough to make a pair of earrings would be... You know, just to be safe, I'm going to give you, like, this much. Four. So let me let me just get that off here right now so that I have something to measure. And I don't want to lose any of these links, so I'm going to take it apart. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ah! What happened? It fell. Now oh. I have to find that. I hate that one. 
I, I'm just done. I don't know how you guys can stand and watch me today. Somebody said you should call it the Woodstock Deep Mix. <laughs> hey, but I, that, you know what? I, we could call that because we know why, but it, would the rest of the people get it? I don't think no. they wouldn't get it. Somebody said. But, however, we could make one in honor of Woodstock. What colors would be in a Woodstock bead, bead mix? It have, have to be the color of mud. What co okay, let's talk about this. This is fun. What colors would be in a bit Woodstock bead mix? That's a good question. If we had one. I gotta look this up. <laughs> yeah. I think earthy colors. Yeah. Earthy boho colors. Would be in so, when I get back, and I'll see if I can find some more be beads like, that I need over there, then, um... It'd be like a rainbow color. Yeah, rain <laughs> rainbow color, yeah, that too. Okay, so let's do this. Today, since you had the patience of Job, and you watched this, I would have to get a $50 order. This stuff is too expensive. But if you can do that, you can still use your coupon. Of course, it has to be $50 after the coupon, but you can still use it. When you hit $50, still in the cart, you get free U.S. shipping. Did you know? And I also promised us Hawaiian beads. And that's going away tonight. And we have 60. So you would get a strand of the... Oh, baby, are you taking a haul? And I'm... I'm not saying that just to sell you. I mean, this is this is kind of ridiculous. I'm just not going to be able to do stuff like this as much because you ever notice why there's no other suppliers doing this? It's because I'm insane, and they're not. <laughs> um, but you know what? There's nobody else I'd rather give stuff to, being honest. Anybody, you guys are so faithful. You come every Sunday, and we chat, and we have a good time, and... It's just great. So, tie dye colors. Yeah, definitely yeah. Tie dye, like the colors in this. Mm -hmm. The colors in this. Jan says purple avocado, yellow boho colors. Right? Because yeah, I said that hallucinogenic beads. You mean what? <laughs> you mean Luann, hallucinogenic colors, or they're gonna make you hallucinate? <laughs> you know the black and white beads are good. Sure. You know. It's terrible. So anyway. <laughs> Just tonight, from the time, right now, if you come over to the website, you give me a $50 order, <laughs> then I will give you this bead bag. Let me spill it out. Let's see how many I got in here. Just see if it's worth it. Maybe it's not worth it. Because I know a lot of you guys have shopped with us a good bit lately, and I appreciate that, and I don't want... People feel pressure, but anyway, I shouldn't have probably brought that bead mix up. But you know, you can't show people stuff like that and then they can't get it. So anyway, here's what's all in that bag. Oh yeah, that's enough to do something with. That was all in that oh, bag. Yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe you you could probably make a memory wire uh, bracelet Ooh, yeah. if it wasn't too many. Like maybe just like once or twice around. You're getting all that in four circles to make your own earrings. If we do this. If you want. If not, it's it's cool. I love you anyway. And somebody's going to win. Somebody's going to win. They're going to get all these connectors. That's, that's a drawing, you know, the weekly drawing. They're going to get my pea green chain, and they're going to get a few beads, too, and who knows what else they will get. How heavy is that chain? Not. It's not too heavy. Actually. It's not. It's not it's heavy. It's not heavy. No. But it's not, it's not so lightweight that it feels cheap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It doesn't feel cheap. Um, so, it's substantial. And it's not going to come apart easy. Like, if you want to take it apart to do other things with it, then you'll have to, you know, work at it. But you can do it. It took me 
I don't know, 10 minutes to take it apart. Now they're all rolling elsewhere. Um, yeah, about 10 minutes it took to take it apart. So that wasn't too long. You guys would probably be faster. Here, let me do this. Maybe <laughs> I can get these in here quicker. Just probably what I'll do is just dump them all over, huh? <laughs> what I tell you? Uh, this is like, just pick up a few at a time and do it. It's okay. I'm talking to you. That's fine. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, this is you're so generous. <laughs> You know what, honey, I love to give things away, but I really can't afford this. So get it while I've lost my mind. <laughs> and don't feel bad for me either. I like to do this. In the summertime, um, you know, get, things get slow. It gets people excited about making jewelry. You know, when you get something that's a little bit new, wherever you buy it. And it's not your same old stash. And you get the summer doldrums, and believe me, that's very common. In fact, I might write about that in my newsletter tonight. Um, you know, sometimes just having a little bit of something new to try, like a piece of this chain or whatever, um, it kind of gets your juices going, gets you excited again. You want to see possibilities. So that's why, you know, in the build a line class, I kind of lecture about managing your inventory and stuff. and. I say, make yourself a shopping list of all the stuff that you need when you come to our place or wherever it is you shop, wherever that might be. Make yourself a shopping list of the stuff you're out of and the stuff you really need. And then discipline yourself to buy that first. And then after you've done that, then allow yourself a little budget so that you can buy something for your soul. Something that inspires you, something that makes you happy, something that gives you new ideas, like that. And it's good for you to get a little something. So, and you know, whoever has too many of these, right? <laughs> but I'm in kind of a, a special place where I get to handle a lot of that stuff because it's what I do, you know. But I don't get to keep that much of it. You know, there's been so much stuff on this table. Most of it has gone down the road in goodie bags. Or um, other ways. <laughs> goodie bags, giveaways for Sunday and all that. So, yeah. So, anyway, that's what I'm going to do today. And so now you all know about it. And you do, you do what you want to do. I love you no matter what. So let's see, who else we got here? Have a great trip and joint when you get there. I hope so. I hope we're going to get to go. And let's see. <laughs> Talk about last minute. Didn't get to order last minute. Life gets in the way. I understand, Michelle. I understand. Life gets in the way sometimes, but it's okay. It's okay. Cool, you're still here. I just got back from moving my daughter back to college. Oh. Hey, how did your show go yesterday, Deborah? I saw you were at the farmer's market. I hope you had a good one. I hope you had a good good one. Okay, well, listen, I think we're going to quit a little early this time. Oh, no, it's not early. What no, am I talking about? Early. We start at 4.30. <laughs> it's 5.37. Durr. I'm thinking, geez, I didn't come on here and say anything. I'm, like, struggling to find stuff. I'm overtime already. Durr. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's that thing, that noise they make? <laughs> that's, that's it. Yeah. Hey, guys, thanks for coming. Thanks for coming yeah. so much. And uh, I'll let you know whether I get to go or not. Once I get off here, I'll go look at the at the computer and see what he said, because he's probably gotten back to me. Julie says, I struggle with building my line when ordering certain supplies that may be on back or may be discontinued. Honey, it's like that everywhere. It's like that everywhere. I know people say, your stuff's out of stock. It's because it's popular. <laughs> And I have the same problem when I go to my suppliers. A lot of times I need stuff, and it's it's going to be two months before I get it. When I run out of castings, Mr. Bernie has to make them. It's going to be five weeks till he makes them, gets them here, I get them plated and bring them back. It's just the way of it. But, you know, here's the thing you can do. Oh, I'm glad your show went good. Um, 
here's what you can do. Make yourself a list, and if there's stuff that you want from our place that's out of stock, send me a list, and I'll do my best to help you out. Um, was that you, Julie, that wanted that silver bead cap, a special silver bead cap? And you asked me for it a couple times, and I wasn't able to get it yet. If that was you, I got good news for you. It should come later this week. I won't have it on the site, though, because I'll be gone probably. But it's it's a coming. So there you go. Okay, let's see who's here last. Okay, oh, she's just have a great trip and be safe, love. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. So thanks for coming today yeah. and putting up with me. But I hope you got some ideas. And I hope you're inspired a little bit. And uh, I'll see you next Sunday. I will be here. I don't know what kind of shape I'll be in. <laughs> I'll be here, and we'll talk about something else. Or maybe by then I'll figure out more to do with this chain, right? Yeah. And then I'll get back to my regular Bisu schedule and start, fi start figuring out new stuff for us to play with. Okay, you guys. Have a great day. Love you so much. <laughs> have some kisses. Talk to you soon. Bye.